Hello again, a very warm welcome to you all. My name is Denny Kay, here today to talk to you about Springbank. Now, normally what I would do is be sitting here with a bottle or two, a dram poured, and quite simply talk to you about that, give you my thoughts on that whiskey. I'm still not able to do that because my sense of taste and especially smell still not returned to me. So, I've been get asked a few questions. One of them is, what is happening with Springbank? What is driving the prices? Is it hype or is there something more to that? It was hype. There is something more to it. So I'm here today to answer that question. Now, if you don't already subscribe, feel free to do so as well. So you can join me again next time. If you like or dislike the video, feel free to drop me a comment on that as well. Now, Springbank Distillery. So I'm not gonna go through the history or anything along those lines. I've covered that off before in other videos, but in terms of why drinkers adore it and love it so much, that's obviously a very easy one a proper old style malt. Now, everything being done in-house from malting, distillation through to bottling. I don't know if there are many other distilleries, probably our smaller distilleries. I know Glenfiddich were um, bottling in-house probably many years ago. I don't know if that's still the case. Uh, but apart from that, as I've said, beginning to end, everything being done, a lot of checks along the way, a lot of hands touching the product, very, very manual, process, nothing at all really being automated there as well. You know, distilled two and a half times, um, you know, low level peak, eight to 10 PPM. Now the money's not going into marketing or anything along those lines, still owned by descendants of, well, not the original owners because um, the Mitchell family bought it, I think it was roughly maybe 11 or 12 years after it was open. Someone may correct me on the exact timing, but you know, we're talking still family owned, et cetera, et cetera and it tastes absolutely great, right? So does a Long Road, so does a Hazel Burn, different types of whiskies there, I guess you could say, uh, for everyone. Maybe not beginners, it's probably not the most approachable for someone that's just getting into something and needs something that's pretty easy going. But other than that, if you meet someone that tells you they're really, really into whiskey, and then they mention Springbank, you know that they really are into their whiskey. Now, I have some different bottles here in front of me, and I, I'm gonna to talk to some of these along the way as well to quite simply prove my point, maybe even as to why I think the prices have absolutely been soaring as of late. If you were to go back, you know, you'd go the 10 or 12 year old, they were probably seen as being very, very good value spring bank bottles. And then, you know, you start to see the price move up on them a little bit because they probably did move over the last year or two, 30, then 50% even in some countries in terms of retail price. And we are starting to see hype drive that. So yes, hype absolutely has a part to play. You know, still not very, um, I guess, collectible even, or investable up until very, very recently. Even some of these here as well, right? But what we have seen over the last month or two are bottles like this go at auction from 200 pound to 400 pound. Now, what gets it to 200 pound is absolute hype, right? What gets it from two to 400 pound is big money coming in from China. That is quite simply what is driving right now the ridiculous prices that we are seeing at auction secondary markets for Springbank. To a certain degree, long row, less so for Hazelburn. Still for indie bottlings as well. Cage, yes and no, but not necessarily. So a lot of it is quite simply being some indies to a degree, OB bottles, 21s, 25s, absolutely huge, huge prices for them. If you were to go back and have a look at what they were going for a couple of months ago to now, and I'm not sure if it's because of what's going on in the world, so essentially it's a mad rush to get as much as you can into that country um, while they can, but it's money coming in from China. Whether you believe it or not, that is quite simply the answer. And I can tell you that um, categorically true. So I'm being asked that question. Hype has absolutely got it to a certain degree. And I think we've all been complaining to that um, or mumbling under our breaths about it over the last year or two because we've started to see prices really go. Now it is ridiculous, whole new level. So what is today? The 1st of April, right? And I'll, I'll upload this tomorrow night, which will be the 2nd of April. You can mark that in your calendar. When you see the next one or two auctions, wherever you are in the world, I'd like you to mark the price of some of these bottles that you see here and other spring banks 
and like you to go back and have a look at what they were going for at the beginning of this year. And you will see a ridiculous increase in prices. And if you were to take that three, four month period and then rewind back three, four months to August, September, October last year and have a look at the difference between then and let's say December, you will notice that the increase is not so rapid. That's quite simply because that was hype that has been driving it. Now what we're starting to see in 2022, as I said, is that big money coming in from overseas. Fact, there you have it. That is my answer for those people that have asked me what is going on with Springbank pricing. The other question that I'm being asked, apart from what should I buy in 2022 to drink, to collect, to invest is, what should I be buying instead of Springbank if I quite simply can't afford to be buying Springbank? Now, that's a very simple one for me to answer. I might do a video on that. But the other exciting thing is that we will see, so obviously we've got Springbank um, Distillery, Glengyle Distillery, we'll see a third distillery that is coming out from um, j and Mitchell in the coming years as well in Campbellton. So that's gonna be very exciting anyway though. I'm gonna to have to stop it there so that way I can keep my promise of keeping these videos short and sharp. Let me know your thoughts. You agree, you disagree, feel, feel free to subscribe. If you'd like to join me again next time, thank you very much indeed for joining me once again. Cheers to you, till next time.